everybody, it's Glenn, back in this video with another episode of Confessions of an eBayaholic. It's been a while, I know. So I recently picked up this Fantastic Four thing figure. It's a Marvel Legends action figure. It's a variant action figure with the regular thing coming in this Mac. And he also came with a hat and sunglasses originally so that the thing could go about his day-to-day -day business incognito or as incognito as you can be when you're a big rock looking monster of a man. So the figure I got here I won in an auction on eBay as you see him here without the hat and sunglasses but those aren't the reason why I got him. I got this figure purely for the cloth rain mac you see and you may ask what I need it for. Well you may remember my flasher gremlin action figure which I've reviewed on my channel here and one of the critical points I raised against the figure was that it's heavy plastic mac essentially renders the figure a statue and we always know Nika do always bring a great sculpt to an action figure yet we've always complained about how little articulation their figures have and with these gremlins figures they really have upped the ante on the articulation they're a lot more articulated than you would expect them to be and then they go and throw this heavy rubber raincoat on the figure and you can't do anything with it so what I plan on doing is replacing this coat with this fabric one which as we can see with the action figure still allows for plenty of articulation so I'm going to undress my action figures ooh -ah. Um, swap over the coats and I'll be back with you. So as the gremlins hands are too large to allow the coat to be removed over them, what I'm going to do is apply heat to the hands which will soften the plastic of the figure enough so that the hand can be pried away from the arm at the wrist joint. So if this is a modification you want to try yourself, you'll just need a hairdryer. And if you don't have a hairdryer, I'm sure you can take your gremlin figure and pop down to your local hair salon. Here goes. So you want to heat the hand until it comes away easily from the joint like that. If it ever feels like you're having to force it, stop and heat the hand some more, or you may risk breaking the joint. If you've heated it enough, it should come away quite easily. So that's one hand down, one more to go. Voila! I just love it when a plan comes together. That we are gonna have to heat the jacket with a hairdryer also so that it becomes soft and pliable enough to be slid off over the arms because it still seems a bit too firm to do that. Let's see now. If we can wrestle this off. There's one arm. Oh, yep. So there's a handless gremlin and here's the fabric coat which we will now place on the gremlin and finally now the hands have been off of the figure long enough that the plastic has cooled down again so those will need to be heated up and then we'll pop those back on. There we go, second hand back on, procedure complete. 
Give yourself a pat on the back, flasher. So I do think I prefer this option with a fabric coat because now, as hoped, I can pose the flasher gremlin with him pulling his coat open to flash, which with the previous Nika hard plastic jacket was the only option we had, really. Yet now with the fabric coat, I can still articulate the arms, which we couldn't previously. So you can get this gremlin into a whole host of poses that you couldn't previously. So we can raise his arms, fasten the coat belt around his waist, let's put back his shades on, and there's Flasher ready to go and harass an unsuspecting Phoebe Cates. Anyway, let me know what you think of the swap that I've done here. Do you prefer this or the harder plastic cape? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to rate and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.